Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina and I make videos about living in this tiny house on wheels and living a more intentional life. I just realized I haven't done that intro <laughs> in a while. Anyways, um, today I am going to share with you a recipe for beef and broccoli using Butler's soy curls. So let me show you the ingredients and then we'll get to making them. Okay, for our vegan beef and broccoli, we are gonna use some olive oil for sauteing, some Butler's soy curls. Now this is, um, something that you can find at health food stores um, or you can definitely buy it online it's basically just dried uh, soy beans and uh, it makes really good meat replacement um, not super processed anyways we're using that we're using some beef bouillon this is accidentally a vegan it's actually imitation beef and a lot of these cheap ones are, I buy this at the dollar store, some low sodium soy sauce or tamari, um, minced garlic or a couple of garlic cloves, some ginger. Um, I have this ginger sesame seasoning from Silk Road Spice Merchant. I'm going to use that. Some, what is this? Some brown sugar, a little bit of cornstarch, uh, some sesame oil and sesame seeds for garnish. And then of course we need our broccoli and green onions. Okay, so I'm gonna put the full ingredients and recipe in the show notes. But what we're gonna do is get started. So what I've done is I've separated the whites from the green onions from the greens. And we're gonna use these for garnish and this for actually cooking. Um, and I have made myself four cups of beef broth. So we're going to add about two cups of soy curls. Two cups of the dried soy curls. And I'm going to rehydrate them with the beef broth. All right, so we're going to set that aside. while we make our sauce. Um, okay, so I've got my broccoli caught up. There's probably about three or four cups of broccoli, as much as you want. And we're gonna make our sauce. So, to a bowl, we're adding one half cup of uh, low sodium soy sauce. one uh, tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm not gonna be able to get that in there. Where's my other one? I'm gonna be able to get that one in there. Nope. Okay, so one tablespoon is three teaspoons. So let me, <laughs> let me do that. Oh my gosh. Seriously, Adelina. Uh, make sure you make a mess. <laughs> All right. One teaspoon of ginger powder, or in this case, I've got this ginger sesame spice blend. One quarter cup of brown sugar. I am going to add uh, some of the broth from the rehydrating of the soy curls. One tablespoon of cornstarch. To thicken that up. And one teaspoon of the sesame oil. Now you can leave this out if you don't do oil, but it does add a lot of flavor to the dish. Then grab your world's smallest, <laughs> tiniest whisk. And let's whisk that together. And I'm gonna set this aside while we wait for the soy curls to rehydrate. 
That usually takes about 5-10 minutes. Just feel them and see if they're feeling like they are soft. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes-ish and these are feeling nice and like chewy bits. I don't know how to explain it. So I'm going to drain them and then we're going to squeeze as, squeeze as much moisture out as we can. So I'm going to do this in the, the sink, but we want to reserve the liquid because we're going to use it in the sauce. Okay, and now, <laughs> so I am going to just squeeze as much liquid out of this as I can. There's no right way to do this, just do your best. I'm not going to turn the fan on. <laughs> Okay, it's warm, but I'm not going to turn the fan on. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is fry the soy curls. And we are going to use a little oil for this. I'm going to use olive oil. And what we want to do is give them a little bit of crisp, a little brown. So just take your time and let that happen. So I'll be back once these are a little brown. We're going to take them off and just put them aside. And then we are going to just saute the onions, the white parts of the green onion. And now I'm going to put in the broccoli. And we're going to steam the broccoli a little bit using some of that broth. So with your lid ready, I'm just going to pour in a little bit of this. And let that steam until the broccoli gets tender. This has been steaming for about five minutes-ish. The broccoli has got more tender but not too soft. So what we're going to do is add the soy curls back in. And we're going to add the sauce and then uh, about a quarter cup to half a cup of the reserved marinating liquid. And I'll add more if I need it. And now I'm just going to let that simmer until it thickens and then we'll be ready to serve. I've let that simmer until the sauce is thickened. So now I've got some rice here. And we're just gonna plate this up because I'm hungry. I'm gonna put some green onions, some of the green parts of the green onions on here. And we are going to put some toasted sesame seeds as a garnish. There. Oh, that smells good and it looks good. So let's give it a taste. Hey everyone, I'm just jumping in here. This is future Adelina to say that. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, I've set a goal to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I really want to thank you for helping me make that goal a reality. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Let's give this a try. I'm going to try the soy curls first to see how they are. 
Mm. That's good. The texture is so meaty. It's delicious. You definitely want to try and find low sodium soy sauce. And if you can find low sodium broth, that would be awesome as well because it can get a little salty with those two together. So you saw how simple that was. It's not a hard recipe at all. If you find the Butler soy curls, I would highly recommend that you buy them for use in anything that you would, you would put chicken in or beef in. So stir fries, casseroles, things like that. The texture is so good. Mm -hmm. If you have a recipe for beef and broccoli that you made before you went vegan or plant-based, just replace the meat with the soy curls. You've got yourself a delicious takeout style meal that hits, ticks all the boxes. So I hope you try it. If you do, let me know how it turns out. Let me know what you put in your stir fries. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe and cool because it's very hot here. <laughs> and it has been very smoky, but it's cleared up, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go enjoy this and I will see you next time.